Uh, what's good, y'all? This is your boy Z. And I just want to explain something right now with a sports world. Okay. And uh, I want to say shouts out to anybody that's getting ready to join this live. But I, I just want to explain something. Because and let this be a lesson. To do your own research sometimes. You can't, we can't, we gotta stop taking the media so seriously. Like, when it comes to Shannon Sharp, Kendrick Perkins, Jay Williams, Nick Wright, Chris Bizarre, and even Brian Windhorse, because he's the main one that's getting very, very, very annoying over the last three weeks. Stop taking them so seriously. Especially Stephen A. Smith. I can't take that dude seriously at all. Cause that dude still won't apologize to Kwame Brown. But let me let me get to let me get on track. Now, in the case of Kawhi Leonard, Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, Luka Doncic, and even Brian Westbrook, none of those guys are being traded. I don't think Washington's getting ready to trade Westbrook. Russell would be a fool to trade Westbrook. Okay, we gotta y'all y'all gotta stop taking them so seriously. Okay, because they've been even in Kawhi Leonard, they've been trying to talk some of these players in the joint Lakers. It's not gonna happen. Okay, most of those players are gonna stay on their teams. Most of those those players are gonna stay on their respectable teams. Okay, I don't see either one of them leaving anytime soon. Okay, because why was Steph Curry? Who basically brought the Gold State Warriors as the leader, as a two-time reigning MVP in the last decade, took the Warriors to five NBA champs in a row, going three for two. All right, he beat LeBron James three times in that run, along with Clay and Draymond Green. All right, with Iguodala and everybody else, Livingston Barbosa, all those guys who um, participated, that was on that teams on those rosters. Why would he lead the Warriors to join the Lakers? And him and LeBron supposed to be rivals. And Kawhi Leonard, right? Kawhi Leonard is here to stay in L.A. The Clippers is his team. That's his home. This man is sponsored by New Balance. Steve Ballmer is doing a lot for Kawhi Leonard off the court. Okay? The Clippers are getting ready to get a brand new arena. They, he, Ballmer already bought the form for $40 billion. He already bought that form for, what was it, 400 million? Now he's getting ready to buy a brand new billion dollar arena in Inglewood. Not far from the where the Rams and Chargers are playing in now. Kawhi Leonard is not about to leave. What is Kawhi Leonard is going to re-sign. Either he's going to take the Supermax, which the Clippers are prepared to give him, or he's going to re-sign for less money for another year and then take his uh, max the following year. Just so the Clippers can bring another superstar in there, which he wants. You know, with Jerry West still at the helm, and what Mike Wang and Lawrence Frank have been doing with Steve Barr's money and influence, ain't no telling what they can do. They can pretty much do anything at this point. Okay? And the fact that the Clippers just made the Western Conference Finals for the first time in history, Kawhi is definitely not going to leave. Uh-uh, no. That man owes us a championship, especially after what happened recently. Okay? Damian Lillard, which is, which, which is on everybody's mind. He's the big topic right now. Damon Lillard, you know what I'm saying, Dame Dollar, whatever you want to call him, this man just came out and openly said, for those who actually just looked it up, okay, this man just said he denied any um, trade rumors. He denied anything saying that he wants to get traded. Damon Lillard didn't uh, request trade at all. He did not. Okay? Dame Dollar is staying put in Portland. Okay, the Trail Blazers just fired Terry Scott, like I said on my YouTube channel. Don't get don't um don't worry y'all. I'm gonna post my link. I just ain't had the time to do it because I've been very very busy with a lot of things going on. Between work, you know, what I'm saying serving at my church, you know, checking up on my family business has been a lot going on. But don't worry, I'm getting to it. But uh, no, Damon Lillard is gonna stay. They just hired, they fired uh, Coach Terry. He's gone, and they just hired Chelsea Bills to be their head coach of that team. And before I continue. Listen, black people, to all my black people, I love y'all, but we need to stop complaining about black coaches not getting these head coaching jobs. 
Chauncey Billups just got hired by the uh, Portland Trailblazers. Okay? I know everybody talks about the Clippers. You put down the Clippers all the time because you say that this is a Laker town. And I get it. Everybody don't like the Clippers. But Steve Ballmer kept the coaching staff primarily black. Remember, he, the man just had, had had Doc Rivers and Sam Cassell as the sister head coach. Doc was a head coach all that time. Doc at one time Sam Cassell as a sister head coach all that time. He fired them and then hired Tyra Lou and, and um, Chauncey B the assistant. And then after one year, Chauncey Bills now ha has a head coaching job in Portland. Y'all need to stop complaining about that. Look at Nate McMillan. Nate McMillan left Portland and then got hired as the head coach with the Atlanta Hawks. Look what he just done. The man just got done coaching the Eastern Conference Finals. Stop complaining. For everybody to complain about Steve Nash getting a head coaching job in Brooklyn, that was extremely disrespectful. When um, Steve Nash, agent that's representing him, is a black man. He had all this time. Just stop it. Just stop it. Uh, Steve Nash even hired um, Amari Stoudemire, his ex-teammate, to be on his coaching staff with um, with um, Dan Antoni. Y'all just need to quit it, man. Y'all complain. We complain about everything. That's the problem. If y'all don't like the fact that what the owners are doing and how they run their teams, then don't watch professional sports no more. Just don't. Now, let me get back on track. Let me digress. No, Damon Lillard is there to stay in Portland. Okay, he's not leaving. The only players that's going to probably be traded is probably CJ McCullough. Right, Nurkins will probably be on the trading block. Ariza will probably be gone. There's some other players they might that's going to be traded, but Lillard's definitely going to stay. Come on now, Lillard's their bread and butter. Damon Lillard is, uh, is there until 2024. That man's contract ain't up anytime soon. 2024 is the next time Damon Lillard be a free agent. So he's not going anywhere anytime soon. Luka Doncic. Okay. I understand Rick Carlisle has left. Rick Carlisle is now the head coach of the Indiana Pacers. Now, Mark Cuban is going to probably um, offer Luka Doncic an extension, most likely. He's not going to allow Doncic to leave. Oh, no, man. Luka Doncic is their only main superstar that uh, that's going to keep Dallas fans watching him. He's really only superstar I got because I don't count Porzingis as a superstar. Porzingis is not a superstar no more. Kristaps got exposed, okay, in these playoffs. The Clippers have beaten the um, Dallas Mavericks two times. This year he had no excuses. Yeah, last year he got injured, but this year this man was fully healthy and did absolutely nothing. If anything, they're going to trade Porzingis or they're going to let him go in free agency and they're going to get somebody else. No, Mark Cuban is going to give um, uh, give Luka Dunstan a significant uh paycheck to keep him and they, he's going to resign with Dallas most likely they ain't, they, they ain't going to let this man go nowhere especially to no Lakers uh -uh, man people need to stop taking the media so freaking seriously and let me say this about the Lakers and I mean this with all due respect I don't hate you I don't hate the um, Lakers team in general I don't have nothing to say against the Lakers they won a championship last year and I stand by my statement I said on social media I understand I'm a Clipper fan Right, but the Lakers won a championship last year, right? They won a chip. Even though it's the pandemic, they still won a championship. What the Lakers need to be doing, they need to be looking towards uh trading for draft picks. Like like they drafted uh Horton Tucker, they need to get find more of him. I would trade Montres Hill, Alice Caruso, possibly Kyle Kuzma, and get me some draft picks. You need to worry about the team you already got. The Lakers made their bet basically last year when they won that championship. Getting at the Davis, trading Ingram, Kuzma, trading Ingram, Lonzo Ball, keeping Kuzma, but trading Ingram, Lonzo Ball, and Josh Hart, and trading them five draft picks. That's who you get at the Davis. You know what I'm saying? You basically made your bed. Okay? Palenka and them brought, seven, brought the 17 championship there. Now it's over. LeBron's only getting older, and his body's breaking down more and more. It's just like Chris Paul. This is the last we're going to see of Chris Paul. If Chris Paul wins a championship and beats the Bucks, he's going to most likely retire. I'm predicting that right now. Because I don't see Chris Paul going another four years. Even if he loses. If he loses, this is it for Chris Paul. The Phoenix Suns may not ever get back to that, that moment again. All right? So LeBron's body's only breaking down. He's only getting older. The league has gotten younger now. It's all about having 22, 23-year-olds. Like John Morant, Dunsick, Trey Young. Okay, Jamal Murray, Nick, uh, Nikolai Jokic, the MVP of the league. Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, 
Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, this is their league. You know, Kevin Durant going to still be around the next eight years. Russell Westbrook going to still be around. You know, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, those guys still got another six, seven more years to go. But LeBron, this is it for him. Already, Wade, Kevin Garnett, Nowinski, these guys have all retired and have gone on. Right, Paul Pierce has since then retired. Carmelo, we ain't going to see him around too much for no, too much longer anyway. This is it for LeBron. And after LeBron walked off in game five and gave up on the Phoenix Suns, and basically the rest of the team gave up, I don't see any player want to come join the Lakers after that. Now, the Lakers, from what I heard, is going to try to make a, uh, a move for Westbrook, or they might possibly get Kimber Walker, who knows. But the Lakers need to focus on the future. They need to get draft picks. What's up, y'all? If you're just joining me, yeah, uh, no, y'all need to stop taking the media so seriously. Because I know, I understand why they don't want Kawhi with the Clippers no more, because he's their best chance of winning a championship. So the media is trying to talk certain plays into leaving teams to give other teams advantage. For those that watch my YouTube channel, I told you the whole, uh, I told you why they always promote LeBron so much, because there's an agenda behind it. And I'm going to go more in depth, because I know everybody is getting ready to see the Space Jam movie. I'm not about to see it. And I'm going to explain what LeBron James should have did as far as a movie. Because I feel Michael Jordan is uh, Michael Jordan is a Space Jam. And Space Jam is Michael Jordan. That's his legacy. I feel LeBron should have came up with another movie. I'm going to be doing a YouTube video this weekend. But no, don't believe everything you hear, man. Like Steph Curry, Luka Doncic, Damian Lillard, Kawhi Leonard, those guys are not going to lead their team. They're going to resign. Let's just keep it real. Management will be foolish to just let those guys walk out of there. Uh uh No, no, it's not gonna happen. Why would Kawhi Leonard leave the, the Clippers now? And the Clippers just made it out the Western, made it to the Western Conference Finals. Dad, he not got hurt the way he did, and he would have been able to play at least three or four of those games. They would have beaten Phoenix because Damon, uh, Damon Booker would have had a hard time guarding Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard would have shut Damon the Booker down, especially Chris Paul. Let's just keep it real, man. Like, the Phoenix Suns got lucky. They got a big break. They're the most healthiest team in this league. They've had it easy. And each round they started, they had at least three or four days to rest, or not, not, if not more. Okay, the Lakers didn't have Anthony Davis. They got past that. LeBron walked off the court in five minutes left in the fourth quarter. He gave up. And then against Denver Nuggets, the Phoenix Suns had to play a, a Nuggets team without Jamal Murray and Will Barton was both hurt. Their two starters was out. Okay? Clippers. The Clippers have had Serge Ibaka for most of this season. Out. Because he had back surgery. And then Kawhi Leonard gets injured. Right before game one of the Western Conference Finals. So they had it easy. The Clippers was fatigued. Okay? So let's just keep it real. They had it easy. No, the Lakers need to worry about draft picks. So the smart thing is, is you're not going to play Montrez Hill. He's going to most likely want out there and you trade him. Trade him to Indiana, right? There's plenty of teams that will take Montrez Hill. You know what I'm saying? Teams like Indiana, possibly Miami. You could trade Montrez Hill for like a Victor Oladipo. Because you need a point guard. Victor Oladipo can run the point. That's who I can see the Lakers getting. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to I'm I'm uh, I'm be a nice guy here, right? I don't hate the Lakers like y'all think. I hate them. It's just some of you fans get on my nerves, right, that support the Lakers. But let me be real. If I'm the Lakers, I'm trading Montrez Hill for either a Duncan Rob for, yeah, for like a uh, Victor Oladipo or Kendrick Nunn. Because Miami got too many guards. Miami needs a Montrez Hill. He's pretty much the lesser version of um, Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder is, a, is basically Montrez Hill with a jumper. Montrez Hill may not be able to give you a jumper, but he does give you defense. That's what the Lakers may we need to look to doing. I would exchange Montrez Hill for like a Goran Dragic. And a Victor Oladipo. And I'll also throw in Alice Caruso in the deal. That's what I would do. And maybe Pat Riley throw, throw in a draft pick. And then let's even with Kuzma, right? I would trade Kyle Kuzma for Draymond Green and a Warriors draft pick. Because let's just be honest. Kuzma and Draymond Green are not working out for their teams. Kuzma would work out better with... Um, he'll work out better with uh, Clay Thompson, who's coming back. Steph Curry. Andrew Wiggins and Kelly Oubre. If you put Kuzma in that Golden State Warrior team, he'll play much better on the Steve Kerr system. 
He's not going to work out with LeBron James. It's just not going to work out at all. No, they, those two are just, I'm sorry. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that was Kyle Kuzma's team before LeBron came. Remember, before LeBron came, Kyle Kuzma was showing signs of his true potential. Kyle Kuzma was the highest scoring player, him and Ingram. And even Ingram, Ingram showed you that he's an all-star player. Okay? If you put Kuzma with the Golden State Warriors, that would put Golden State in the playoffs. Kyle Kuzma with Steph Curry is actually dangerous. And even James Wiseman, if they keep him, dude, that would be a very dangerous lineup. Because Clay going to come back fully after you put Kuzma, can also hit threes. But Draymond Green, Draymond Green is also cut sports. Draymond Green would play better with LeBron. They buddies anyway. Draymond Green would pretty much be um, LeBron James, Dennis Rodman. Since LeBron wants to be Jordan so bad, there you go. You put 80, Draymond Green, and LeBron, you got, you got a defensive unit. You got a solid defensive core. And like I said, you trade Montrez Hell for like a, a, a Gorson Andrajic and even a, a Victor Oladipo. Or you trade, you exchange, yeah, you trade him for, let's say, you, yeah, you get like, if you can't get uh, Goran Andrajic, you get like a Victor Oladipo. You get Victor Oladipo and somebody else, a young draft pick, then you got a point guard right there. You got a point guard and a shooting guard. So a lineup with like a Victor Oladipo, a LeBron James, Anthony Davis, with Horton Tucker and like a uh, Draymond Green, that's a solid lineup right there. That'll get you to the playoffs. That'll get you back. Because I don't see Draymond Green working out in Golden State neither. I'm going to be very honest. Draymond Green is not, he's been exposed for not being that good. That means in the whole championship run, he got carried. No, the reason why Draymond Green plays so well because Steph Curry and Klay Thompson were that effective. Let's just be honest. Let's be for real. He got carried. He's not that good on his own. Because when Klay Thompson was injured this whole time, Klay Thompson been out for two years in a row. Draymond was supposed to be that dude. The main reason why the Golden State Warriors... What's up, Brandino? The main reason why the Golden State Warriors did not make the playoffs is because of Draymond Green. Okay? See, Draymond Green's problem, he was talking all that mess, arguing with Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley, at the end of the day, is a Hall of Famer. Even though Charles Barkley couldn't get a ring, primarily because of Jordan... And because there was a lot of competition back then. Barkley had to uh, had to go against Clyde Drexter, right? You had to go against uh, the bad boys with Isaiah Thomas and John Sally. Yeah, Joe Sally. Yeah, John Sally and uh, Rick Mahorn, Bill Lambeer, Dennis Rodman. You had to go against uh, the Admiral David Robinson. You know, uh, Elijah Wan, Carl Malone, John Stein. Yeah, those guys. Patrick Moon, it was a tougher league. So you can't compare Draymond Green to him. But for the moment, Draymond Green, again, dude, like he is a triple single. That's unsatisfactory. You they paying him all that money. It don't make sense. When they they got Eric Pascal. Eric Pascal they pretty much been playing way better than Draymond, and he's younger. I'm sorry, man. Put Draymond Green with LeBron James. That worked out better for him. Because at this point in the stage, Draymond Green's only slowing Golden State down. When you you could you replace him with Kyle Kuzma, that'd be much better for you. And plus, Kyle Kuzma is faster. How Steph Curry and Clay runs, they need they need a faster power forward, right? Again, replace trade Draymond Green for Kyle Kuzma. You already got Eric Pascal. You don't need Draymond. Eric Pascal and Draymond are pretty much the same size, except Eric Pascal gonna give you an actual consistent three pointer. He has a shot on him. Draymond Green is not that consistent at all. Don't get me wrong. Now I understand he's very sentimental to Golden State, but let's just be honest. You gotta do what's best for the team. And sometimes you got that means you gotta let somebody go that you don't want to. Right? It's time for him to go. I'm gonna be very honest. Let him be with um uh, let him let him be with his buddy LeBron. They may play it out better for it. Draymond Green and LeBron will probably be better for each other anyway. But Kyle Kuzma, I think if you put Kyle Kuzma with Steph Curry and Clay and Andrew Wiggins, and you got Kelly Oubre. And with Eric Pascal coming off the bench, you got James Wiseman, that's a much better lineup for both um, teams. Because Draymond Green would give you defense. And you put Draymond Green with... Because Draymond Green could play the center position too. And he could play the power forward. Put him in AD with LeBron. That's a, that's a nice big three. And you have... and you Like I say, you trade Montrezl here for a Victor Depot. You got a solid... Uh, you got a solid starting lineup. Because they'll find another point guard. Because KCP is still in the country. He could play the one if you need him to. And even KCP. KCP might get traded too. You can easily trade KCP for a couple for a first round for a couple of draft picks. He's not necessarily worth the first rounder. 
You could trade him for another for a bench player and a first round draft and at least a second rounder. If not two second rounders. But if I'm Rock Palenka and I'm Genie Bus, that's what I'm getting ready to do. You gotta do something now. The Lakers need they need they need young, they need um youth. Cause the lineup you got now is not gonna work. Mark Gasol don't need to be there no more. I would have never traded no um I would never trade no JaVel McGee for no Mark Gasol. That's a downgrade. Jerome McGree, at the end of the day, won three NBA championships. Two with the Warriors and now one with the Lakers last year. He deserved to have stayed on that team. Dwight Howard, I already uh, resigned him. Okay? That's LeBron's fault. LeBron runs that team. Okay? So, I'm going to end this live now because it's late and I got to go to bed. I got to get up early in the morning. But I just want to clarify something now. Damon Leonard has said he doesn't want to be traded. Kawhi Leonard is not going anywhere. The Clippers are going to re-sign him. Luka Doncic is not going to wear Mark Cuban. is not going to let that happen. And Steph Curry definitely is not going to leave his team. That's not even realistic. I don't know why. I don't know why in the hell ESPN did that. That's tampering, if anything. Okay? But anyways, folks, that's the video. I hope that gave y'all some understanding. And for anybody who wants to refute what I'm telling you, go research yourself. You know what I'm saying? We're living in an age where everybody has access to Google. Okay? Everybody can look this up. Don't just take ESPN and first Fox Sports word for it. Look this up on your own. Y'all have a good night.